I want to know, what can you share with us about life here in Greece as a whole, from your own point of view, your own experience, what can you share? Uh, truly speaking, I'm here since 2020. There is something the Pope told us. Told us uh, they were the Asian people who don't, who are Greeks that ran from, because of the Second World War, they ran from Greece and went out. But now some people are using the excuse that they ran from the Second World War and they are coming back because they are white and they give them <laughs> So they call those people Pondius. If it's That's why me, I call myself to Mavro Pondius. Mavro Pondius, I say I'm a black Pondius. <laughs> so if they can give me the passport, let them give me the passport, man. I've been paying my tax for 23 years. Hello, bro. Yeah, bro. How are you? I'm good. Oh, great. I just ran into a Sierra Leonean brother right in the street of uh, uh, Athens. Athens. I think we. I think this is one of the main streets yeah, in the city. Yes, in Dagma. Okay. Yeah. By by Monostoki area. Yes. Oh, yeah. nice. For how long have you been here? I'm here for almost I can say four years. Four years. Yes. Oh, uh, these are the real men in the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, what can you share with? Uh, my people, young people all around the world, the so life of as like country, as a foreigner in yeah. this country. What are your experience? Here as a foreigner is something difficult. Okay. But it is very good to come here to visit as a tourist. Okay. As you can see, the environment is full of people. Yes. Eighty percent of the people here they are tourists. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. That is for sure. Yeah. So for living is difficult. For visiting is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you have a job. Mm. Living here is, I think, is better. But if really you want to have your best time here, is to visit is the best thing. Best thing. Okay. Yeah. So why why is it difficult to live here? Well, as as you know, coming here as a foreigner or mm. maybe a migrant, mm. to say, mm. you don't have any anyone to support you here. You only depend on the government, right? Okay. So if you don't have a skill, mm. movement, it's going to be difficult for you. Okay. So like 90% of foreigners here, mm. I mean we depend on jobs, that's what we are. Mm. Because you cannot depend on government, just government to support you. Mm. Okay. But to visit here is the for tourists, mm. is the best place. So uh, well, share with us a little bit about the cost of living. I the the house rent. The house rent compared to Central Europe, mm. I think the cost of living here is better. Okay. How I much for a month? Well, actually, for a month here, you can uh, the cheapest one you can have like 400 euros for like a room. Okay. Everything is a self-contained room. 400 euros. 400 euros. You mean in the city center? Yes. In the city center, yes. Okay. But out of the city center, maybe you can have it less. Okay. But if you want to live the good life, like mm. you want to live like a big boy, mm, I mean, big you, boy, you have to spend more, <laughs> like 800 euros, 900 euros per month. I think so. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Now, what about the the average salary? We are the average salary here is very low. Very low. Very low. Compared to Central Europe, is, uh, uh, yeah, 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 compared yeah, yeah. to Central Europe, you say yeah, you have yeah, been yeah. to Central yeah, Europe. Yeah. Where, where did you been to? I went to Austria before. Mm. I worked there for three months. Okay. And the difference is, is is very is very is very high. Okay. Because here the cost of living is easy, mm. it's cheap, mm. but the time of working the salary here is very low. Okay. You can only have something good here during the summer because during the summer here mm. you can have any type of job you want. But during the winter, mm. it's really difficult here. It's really difficult. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, how much is the average salary? I can say now it's around nine hundred or one thousand euros for average salary. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, I think I've taken so much of your time. Yeah. Brother, I, nice I wish you, you all the best. Thank you, you for sharing. Media, okay, you can share yeah, yeah. Okay, my name is Eric. I'm I'm known in Thessaloniki. Um, um, my parents are from Nigeria, but I was born in Cameroon. Uh, I live in Greece for 23 years to 24 years now. Um, in Thessaloniki, precisely. Thessaloniki is um is um, the, one of the ancient cities we have in uh, Greece. It's actually in the Bible. Yes. Because most of the, the message to in the Bible, like uh, the message from Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. was written actually from this city. Wow. So this is an amazing, amazing place. It's a place that you people uh, will love to live. But the problem here is that you must come here to... You must only come here to have fun. 
You okay. cannot you cannot make money here. If okay. you want to make money here, you must come and sit with us to explain you how things work here. Okay. But I'm gonna advise anyone who is interested to come to Greece to come because Greece is better than Africa in any country in Africa. Yeah, because of our our government. Are yeah, not bad trying. governance. Yeah, yeah, bad course. governance. The governance in Africa is uh, it's not it's not good at all. They're not doing well. It's very very bad. So. so Share with us more about you and uh, he's my brother. Yeah. But you will not even know that he's our brother because yeah. he, he was born in Cameroon, so and he, I grew he has up the here. Cameroon Cameroon vibe, yeah. and now he grew up here. So it's a little bit of mixture of vibe. So if he tell you that he's a Nigerian, sometimes you cannot believe yeah. that yes, he's a Nigerian. I was born in a small town called Moyoka in the southwest province uh, of uh, Cameroon. Okay. Uh, actually, the place, the, the area they call Ambazonias, the people want to get free from. Uh, Cameroon. Okay. Uh, I grew up there, I went my primary school there, went my secondary school there, then I came to Greece directly. Oh. I've been around Europe, I've been in almost all of the countries in Europe, but I choose here. And the wife of my kids is from this country. Okay. Yeah, I have two beautiful, beautiful kids, kids here, Elpida and Pericles. Oh. They are actually Greeks. Shout so, out to you guys. <laughs> so, Greece is a fun place to be. If you want to enjoy life, because here they don't believe about, they don't believe in heaven. Yeah. Here they believe you have to enjoy every day. Every day they wake up, they go to their job, they come back, they go for coffee before they go, come back, go for coffee, go for swimming. You need to go to the seaside. Yeah, the seaside. That's where things are happening. Okay. From morning till dawn, it's non-stop. The seaside. Actually, it's straight up this way. Yes, I go down and yes. I walk down to the. Yeah, the, that's the yeah. seaside. Uh, uh, Alexander, yeah, uh, uh, the great, the great yeah, uh, exactly. statue is even over. All that area, they, they don't sleep. People don't sleep there. We actually, yeah, I came. Awesome. If you are watching, that is about the best things in the city. Yeah. Uh, that they will say like, uh, so this is Thessalonica. Yeah. That will be the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Then what? If you wanna really enjoy Greece, mm -hmm. I think you need to go to the seaside and again the weekend mm -hmm. go to the club. The clubs. Okay. The For clubs are like, like yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, no. Here is a, it's normal. Yeah, yeah. Everybody goes out. Everybody. Okay. Yeah, because if you go to the section that they have clubs, it's like uh, 100 clubs. It's non-stop. Yeah, it's like. So the ninth clubs. life is kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah, very crazy. I told you they don't believe in heaven. Yeah, so people like to have fun. They enjoy. Most of them don't love booking. They just love to sit down and take money from their parents, their siblings. And they have fun, like the girls you see now here. These girls are just having fun with their friends. Most of them, you know, yes, in Greece. Just sitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that is it. what they're like. They're just yeah, like that, yeah, having fun. It's like just yeah, sitting yeah, yeah, down yeah, yeah. every time, day, yeah. every day party. It's, it's not like why in Africa we love working. Mm. We love to work because our government don't help us. Mm. Yeah, the government have, you know, you live yeah. in Europe, you know the government have. Like me now, I, I work maybe like for six months and I go, I tell the government I'm tired, go on a, unemployment benefits for six months or one year and still I go again, start working again. So, that's how we rode in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, he's a, very, he's a, he's a yeah. great guy, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah? And he have uh, a, a, a restaurant. Bit, yeah, I have uh, a tell restaurant. Tell us about your restaurant. We, we have, uh, my restaurant is in a, in a small area called Ambeliki Post. Okay. The street is actually Zariki, it's called Zariki 20. That's, uh, I own the building, I bought the building by myself, yeah. Is it far from this place? It's uh, far, a bit far, yeah. Okay. It's like, uh, with the bus, it's like uh, 20 minutes, with, with food, 30 minutes or more. From where we are, where we are, yeah. where, where we are, what this is the name of... This is the city center. Okay, from the city, city center, center, it's about yeah. 20 minutes. Yes, okay. about 20 minutes. But uh, most of the guys who live here, they know me. Okay. We cook varieties of African food, all kinds of African food. So you food are from, covered? Yeah, food from Ghana, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, uh, Congo, because mostly we have Congos here now. Before it was used to Nigeria, and Nigeria is Congo. Mm. Everybody's going Congo now. Oh. So we cook food from all these areas of Africa. We have different kinds of beers and uh, alcohol drinks from Africa. Mm. So actually, it's a fun place. I have uh, snooker, table tennis, uh, yeah, baby food. All the games are free. 
this is the this is the guy to, to contact so you, you you what you know what you do you have to leave with me uh your instagram I will, you, I will give you my number i don't have to uh -huh. so that i will, I will put give it, you my I will put number. it on my okay. uh, description so that okay. people who are coming to the students are coming and yeah. want to uh, meet their, their okay. fellow brothers dine for all is the name of the restaurant dine for all dine for all yeah okay. and what about life like people who are like want to look for job or maybe students wise and most of the guys the cost who of are here and everything yeah most of the guys who are here they don't like working okay they don't like working i don't know why i don't know their reasons they just like uh, easy money. Okay. So I'm not going to discuss about easy money. Yes, but that we but, ended there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that if you want to organize your life, you need to find a job. Yes. Get a job, organize your life, save money, mm. invest. Mm. There are many investments in this country. Mm. Me now, I am investing in three com companies right now. Mm. Of which that these companies, I didn't know that they were even needing investors. But I went, I do research, and I found out that they need investors. So I put in good money, of which that there will be, it's like a collaboration now with them, of which I will be maybe sitting at home, my money will be working for me. So mistakes that we Africans are doing is that we don't invest. If we learn how to invest, we are going to go in front. Don't save money only to pay bills. No. Even if you can live in a, a cheaper house, in Greece, your house is so cheap. You can actually get a, an apartment here for 200 euros only mm. if you are single yeah only 200 euros if you can find a cheap apartment and you make 1200 euros every month you can actually save 1000 euros in greece i don't think there's anywhere in europe you save that kind of money because i've been in england uh, holland i've been almost all of the europe i just came back from sweden so you cannot save 1000 euros anywhere in europe but here you can do that but the problem is how people are used to they make money they spend it they are not good in saving and investing the the good ones the ones that we really, we really want to invest they come and meet people like us and we link them into investment that nobody of we come out from Salonika and said that he has done business with me or something with me and his money got missed no but most of them, they just want to make money and waste it, which I don't advise. I support my African brothers. Most of the shops in Saloniki, when they need support, they come to me. I support them. That's the only way we can grow as Africans. Yes. That's the only way. And this is so, what we are really, really lacking. You see those uh, guy, that guy and the girl? Yes. They are from actually U.S. From yeah. the U.S.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they are living here. Yeah, yeah, they live here. They came to play basketball. They play basketball. Oh. I know both of them. Oh. I've met them in the club. I've met them. I know where they actually live. Yeah, okay. they live opposite the office I, I work. Okay. So I know them. So you, here there is job, there is house. Houses here are very cheap. Job, there is enough job here. So why Actually, people are complaining that there is no job in Greece? Because they don't that, want, they want the easy money. They want the easy money. If you see anybody now, now, mm -hmm. I'm challenging you. If you see anybody now here who needs a job, tell him and I'll give him a job tomorrow. Tomorrow, not even next week, tomorrow. i give him a job. You see that? The, so the please, most, the, the one is the money. Please, and and the, in the worst part of it is like a human being. This is even human being in general. Yeah. We are more captivated. We are always more attracted by evil. Yeah. The, and, the quick way, and yeah. the quick way is evil. And people love complaining. If you wanna be a man, don't complain. Even a lady, you don't need to complain. Carry your cross by yourself. You don't need to complain. Hey. Carry your cross by yourself. Don't complain. We always complain, complain, complain. Since I was born, tell them, now, tell, them tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. I don't complain. I handle my shit. Mm -hmm. I don't do this. I, I, no, I, tell him. No, my shit. Feel free, feel natural, man. I don't tell nobody. Man. I don't tell nobody about my deals. I carry on my deals. I handle my deal by myself. I don't go to complain. I cannot find a job. This, this, that. No. If I need a job today, as I told, just told you now, I will go the industrial area. If you want, I will take you there. There are more than. One million companies there looking for workers. But the people don't want to work. They don't want to just walk around to look for free drink. They don't want to work. It's, it's the reality. And some are, are complaining that they, they don't have documents or what? Yeah, if you are in this country, you must be working so that you can be enabled, enabled to renew your documents. Okay. So if you come here and you say, stay here and you sit down, you don't work, mm. how will you renew your documents? No way. There is a role, role that you need insurance to renew your document yes but most of them we come they will sit at home with their girlfriend and when they get it's time to renew their document they will not have insurance to renew their document 
there is law. Every country have its law. Every country has Me, I abide, I abide to the law of Greece. I live here for mm. 23 years. Yes. I abide to the law. When is me now, when I, if it's time for me to renew my documents, I go and look for a job. Work at least for two years, then they will give you the tax return that you used to renew your documents. No, I, I have never had problem to renew my papers. But you have been here for 23, 23 years. 23 years. You're supposed to have like yes. citizenship. Greece have problem with that. Okay. Greece have problem with that. I will not lie. In the uh, issue of citizenship, they have big problem with that. Actually, me, I'm a citizen, but you know, they we want to keep you maybe like uh, 10 years more before they give you the actual passport, but they will give you something which is similar to okay. citizen. Like me, that's what I'm having. So uh, what, what what is it all about? It's an ID card. It's normal. I'm a citizen, but I, I don't have passport. Okay, you cannot it's, get a passport. I can get it, but they will tell me to wait. Okay. It's a, this is just like a civilized Africa. Yeah, that's for real. Okay. It's like a civilized Africa. You see some people, they will still be looking at you like uh, you are a monkey or so. They still have that kind of problem here. Yes. Sometimes, don't be shocked if you are in the bars, maybe. You see some people running from, you know, it's no idea. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, Greece is a country that is mixed. It's yeah. not, most of them are not Greeks. They are from different parts of the world. Yes. And some of them are, in, are from the poor part of Europe that they have not seen black people before. You see? So when they came, they come here, they mix together, and you don't know who is who, but me, I know. I know because yeah. I grew up with yes. them. So Greece is a very diverse country that, and most of them, when they come there and they're white, mm. they are obliged, they, they give them the paper, the passport easily. Yes, yes. Because they will lie one or two pondios and all those stuff. There is something they call pondios. Pondios are, they were the Asian people who don't, who are Greeks that ran from, because of the Second World War, they ran from Greece and went out. But now some people are using the excuse that they ran from the Second World War and they are coming back because they are white and they give them <laughs> So they call those people Pondius. If it's That's why me, I call myself to Mavro Pondius. Mavro Pondius, I say I'm a black Pondius. <laughs> so if they can give me the passport, let them give me the passport, man. I've been paying my tax for 23 years. Man, please, please, years. please give him the passport. 23 yeah, years. And he's doing very massively well. Of course. He has invested, he has Money, companies, he has, money. he has been working here, paying his tax, and even invest in companies and all that. Two houses. Two houses. Two house. two house. Oh, come on, yeah, come yeah. on. He said, he said, in that, we are still backward in that side. Uh, I don't say anything bad about this because I grew up here. No, no, no. I eat, everything I, has been I drink positive. Here, I drink here, I ate here, I did everything here. I always say positive things about this country because I believe in positive. Yes. If I say negative, negative might follow them. But I believe in positive and I know Greece will change. If it doesn't change now, my children are going to change it. Yes. But what I know for sure is one day you will have black people in the police force, in the military force, in every force we have in Greece. So even here, you cannot see a black man driving taxi. Come on, taxi. Taxi? Really? Yeah, you cannot see a black man driving taxi. It's prohibited. You cannot even see a black man walking in packing the bin, the dustbin. Even bin? Yeah, we have that kind of problem here. It's oh. a, we are still back. Greece okay. is a, it's a big racist. I will say that. I will, say, I will confirm that. It's a bit racist about that, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You, the, the police will not embrace you, that's a good thing. Because when it's summer, you know that many people are coming, but in the winter, maybe they will be stopping you to ask you your documents. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, okay. in yeah. summer, maybe they, they come summer, to spend money. Yeah, they will not want to embarrass you because maybe you can spend money. <laughs> come to spend yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. So, so in the winter, they will kind of stop in yeah, the, yeah. the black people say, yeah. you are African, you don't look like me. Where are you yeah. coming from? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> she's kind of looking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's it. Greece is a very, very fun country. Mm. Most of the guys who come here, they come here actually to enjoy. And my dream now is to have uh, maybe to start to buy houses that I will start to rent it to black people who are coming. Because there were like two uh, couples that married in Sadurini. Mm. This two weeks ago. And Obi Kupana was here. All of his friends, Davido, all of them were here in Greece. They came for that wedding. So me, I'm trying now, maybe if I can be letting people know, because we have over 400 islands here. Greece is a place actually that you can come and invest and make good money. Because in the summer, you make good money here. Yeah, it's a very touristic yes, place. Yeah, you can buy a house here in Greece, 25,000 euros only. Only. In an island. And when I'm telling you, in two years, you have made your money back. It's very simple. But people don't know, because they don't do their research. 
They don't do their research. Me, I've done my research, and that's why I'm heading to. I own two properties now, and I'm heading. I'm not stopping. My target is to get 100 properties possible and rent them out. It is easy. Making money in this country is very, very easy. But the problem is our people don't want to invest it. I don't know why. I don't know why. And actually, Greek have a law that if you invest 250,000 euro mm. investment here, they will give you the passport after like 10 years. Okay. okay. Yeah. But you must be free from crime. Yes. So this law is working and you have to uh, go uh, take a lawyer to go about it and it's working. If you now wanna, you wanna you buy a house 250,000 euro here right now, mm. you are obliged to be, they will give you instant five years resident permit of which if it expired, it's possible. It's a law in Greece here. But people don't know about all these things. They don't wanna discover Greece, I don't know why. I don't know why. Do you know that the first black people in Greece came 40, just 40 years ago? The oldest black guys that we have here are 35 years here. We don't have black people here. We need to integrate, we need to come in this country and discover many things about these people. They are loving people. They are welcoming. They are welcoming. Yeah, since I came, uh, some day I was a little bit uh, uh, like uh, scared. Scared <laughs> and uh, no, not even scared, just like observing yeah. because of what I've heard a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was a little bit observing, but uh, since I came in now, I was expecting a very high level of uh, racism. racism and, no. and uh, uh, rejection. But since I came in here, not so bad. Most of, the people, most of the people who say bad things about Greece is because they don't know Greece. Okay. They don't know Greece. Or maybe they came and here. And this is the bad. The bad is the things that always yeah. influence people Greek, that Greek always people out there. Mm. Yeah, they need to do their research and know what is good for them. Mm. There are some things that you're gonna do here and it's gonna work for you. Some things you're gonna do here is not gonna work for you. It's simple. Most of our brothers here, like I said before, they don't wanna work. They don't wanna do research. They don't wanna check everything about Greece. They just want money to fall from sky. Sky. Because easy here, way. Yeah, easy. There are many easy ways to make money. Here. Like <laughs> I told you, unemployment benefit. Social workers. There are more than 100 social workers here. Of which you can go and register and they will pay you every month. So our brothers, they choose that. Free money doesn't help. If you want to be a man, you, you have to learn how to be, uh, make money. You finish. When you go in the freeway, that was, I, I have uh, vowed to stop that. And I cut off from most of that thing even in France. Yeah. Yes, I live in France. I yeah. cut off from that. Yeah. Uh, like uh, most of the thing, the like, social, I, I, I look at it, there is a, a woman, like as I'm walking now, yeah. I can go and, uh, um, you know, uh, write, uh, like uh, send my documents to some office mm -hmm. and they can be paying me every month yeah. with my own income, they can be paying me something. I said, Madam, no, let the government take it. It's happening here too. One thing I would like you to know is this. Will you prefer me to keep you in my house now, lock you up there and be giving you food every day? Or do you want me to show you how I get that food? Show me how you get the food. That's what Africans don't want to know. We don't need UN. We don't need, uh, how do they call the other? We don't need all the social in Africa. What we need is, we need Africa to move forward. Develop. We need to develop Africa. Invest in more, knowledge. Yes. Invest in te create technology. technology. Entrepreneur. Yeah. Create uh, more yeah. companies, industries, so that people will have work. Work. Invest more in farming. We need all these things in Africa. No, we like uh, what you just said. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. This is uh, since my time here is one of the most interesting person I've met. I've met great people, but this guy is another level because, as some wise fellow once said, every man I meet is superior to me in in his own way, Wait, in some yeah. way. Yeah. So for me to learn that, I have to be humble myself, and there are a lot of things I can I have to learn from this man. Yeah. So. Is making a so much point, and I want to let you know that those of us that are don't little that don't research for our history a little bit, who we truly are, I will share little the little of them. If I make mistake, correct me on the comment section, or he can correct me. Don't make anybody tell you that we are uncivilized. Don't let anybody tell you that we are nothing. That this world, everything that is happening in this world. We black people, we are not, it's a lie. The first civilization is in Africa. Of course. 2,900 BC to 300, Africa is the center of education. It is center of knowledge. It is the center of everything. 
the great uh, philosophers, writers, mathematicians, archaeologists, whatever scientists, on, you will name us, they, went back there to they come to Africa. learn in our feet. They are our yeah. students. Yeah. The Aristotles, yeah. the Socrates, the Plato's, that is where they go and yeah. learn who they are today. To, yeah. uh, that is where they form them to become who they are today. Yeah. Now, when our empire falls, that is where they go. Because where education go, that is where civilization go. Actually, then, I'm going to come in on that. I don't think our empires fa fail. Okay. They fell them down. Yes. The Westerners came with their, this kind of uh, way mm. to get deep into our system. Manipulation. And manipulation. And they brought us things that are not were not used to us. Yes. They will tell us like democracy, yes. tell us like uh, Christianity, Muslim and all these stuff. So they use them to confuse us. Yes. Actually them, you see, you have been walking around, you see them, they go into the, when they go to church. No. You hear almighty people singing and clapping. They don't do that here. Okay. When the system is working, you don't need to pray. Okay. We don't need prayer when the system is working. But in Africa, because the system is not working, that's why oh, my sister, if you call her now, she's praying. And she believed one day that God will give her a special moment. No, she believed that. Like but me, I'm trying to open her eyes, but she cannot open her eyes because what the, the Westerners put in us is still in their head. Yes. Brain but works. me, yeah, we have been through worse. But me, my eyes have opened and I've known the light. And what is the light? The light, as they, they say, God. Mm. And that God is for everybody. Mm. But you must walk. You must walk. If you don't walk, don't expect no money. There is nothing like you miracle money. You can pray to tomorrow. No you can move. pray, you can see even everything you want to see in this world. Yes. If you don't walk, yeah, there is no if you don't develop yourself, there is yeah. nothing. Like, okay, let me give you something. Uh, let me share a little something. Okay. Like, as a Christian, when you are born again, yeah. you are automatically empowered. Yeah. And when you baptize, <laughs> so when you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you have even again more yeah more powerful okay you're already power powerful yeah. okay but now for that power to keep moving forward and to go to greater height is knowledge yeah yes knowledge yeah but me i want to ask you a question mm. do you really really think that it's a uh, god love us so much and want us to enjoy only when we die no why do they tell us about this inheritance that we're gonna inherit when we die in there? They don't tell us that we need to fix Africa now. We need to get Africa working. My brother, I think I've talked enough, bro. That's My brother, he, he has shared a lot. He has shared a, a, a lot with me, man. Yeah. It is a great pleasure having you, man. So thank you very much for everything. We have shared a lot. So, but he who has ear, let him hear. Yeah. Yeah. He who have eyes, let, let him see. see. Yeah. But I know some people will still hear, but it will enter the air, like the Bible say, and will go out from here. Some people will see, but you see like they are blind. But if you understand, you understand. If you this little message is here, if you grab this knowledge, the wisdom that is coming out from his mouth, eh? I'm telling you, mark this date and give yourself five, ten years. Your story will change. And you will come back to write, to comment, or to testify that thank you for sharing this message. Thank you, brother. Yeah. It is a great which, which privilege. Which part of data are you? Me, I'm from Ijo. Ijo. Ijo boy. Uh, you know, most of the data are Igbo. You know that? Yes, Igbo. Yeah, we are saying we are brothers. Yeah. But we are not very close. So they even call us Igbo. Uh, because Igbo is because the one. We are one. It is, all, it is all political issue. What I can say for Greece is uh, that it's not easy. Okay. And all around also is not easy. Yes. All over the world. Yes. Everywhere there is a struggle, everywhere. Simple. Yeah, so that is it. So if you are here, mm. you just have to focus and work what you have to work because most most of the people they don't go to other European countries. Mm. You understand? Mm. So it's still the same thing. Some of them say nothing is in Greece. You understand? Mm. But if you are working, like if you see, there are some things here. They mm. are less more than the other European countries. Yes, understand? everywhere there is yeah. advantage yeah. and disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Bravo. So that's what I'm trying to say. If you are there, li life is good. The mm. place is fine. Mm. Enjoyment. But, you know, also they are paying you a large amount of money. But that large amount of money, again, you will spend it in your, like, uh, in your needs. Yes. The house you sleep, your, some, some other stuff, you understand? Things are expensive there, even plate for food. One of my friends in Norway was telling me it's very expensive, like 100 in their money or whatever, you know, which they are using, you understand? Mm. That 100 here, if you put 50, you can take a house. So they are feeding and others, it's easy. 
Mm. So that's what I want to say. Everywhere there is a struggle, you understand? It's just to be patient and focus, work for what you want. So that is it, my brother. Thank you, man. So we are right here in the African shop, in the main center of Thessalonica. And I have a brother here. I want to ask him for him to share with us a little bit about life here in Thessalonica and Greece as a whole. Hello, brother. Yeah, how are you, sir? Yeah, nice meeting you. Where are you from? Oh, my brother, Nigerian. Okay, I was, I wasn't even expecting. I was thinking maybe from another country. Oh, nice. What part in Nigeria? Ibo. Ibo. Ah, Arba. Ibo and Ibo. Yeah, that is the only one I know. <laughs> Me and my Niger boy. Okay. Yeah, from Delta Bay, we are all brothers. We are the same people. So, my brother, how is life here in, in Thessalonica? From your own point of view, from your own experience, what little things you can share with like young Africans or even anybody, Europeans, uh, Americans, uh, Asians, anybody that wants to come to live here or maybe come in here for studies or for holidays from your own view. What are you saying? Here mm. in Greece, mm. what happens to Sonic? What happens? It's more better mm. than Nigeria. Okay. Europe is more better than Nigeria. Okay. But not easy in the other world. Yes. Europe is more better. But if we want to travel, mm. we should travel by studying, mm. not by walking. Okay. Trekking. Okay. Or, or taking borders. Okay. It's wrong. Okay. Understand. Okay. Breaking, uh, uh, that is entering the countries illegally. Illegally. Okay. Not good. You should travel legally. Legally. Okay. Why do you think Europe is more better than Nigeria? Yeah, they are organized. They are organized. Okay. Well, our leaders are not uh, doing well for us. Uh, they are suffering in Nigeria. Yes. That's why there's a lot of corruption, which is can be very related to see Europe. Yes. You understand? Yes. So it becomes a problem. That's why everyone wants to come to Europe. Mm. Not about come to what they come. What they want to come to do in Europe. You mm. have jobs. So people are doing some certain things. Mm. It might cost them to be in jail. Yes. This is the point. What I come to do? Do you want to come and study? Do you want to come and work? Mm. Mm. What is your work? Is you do anything in Roga? Is there anything put in trouble? Why must you to get to come to Europe? Many people died in this world. Yes. So we have lived mm. here for many years. Mm. So we experience what happened. But I still believe that it's better than Nigeria. Okay. So I hope you have heard him clearly. If an African, now he's going to the African point of view. If you're an African, I'm trying to go to look if I can also see some other Europeans or Americans or South Americans that I can be able to, you know, uh, uh, interview also because this is uh, how is life here in Greece, in, in Greece and Thessalonica as a whole from a foreigner point of view, as a foreigner. So he said, if as an African, Please come legally. And number two, before you are coming to Europe, now he's even talking in general in Europe, and Greece as a whole, try to know what you really want to do. What are you specialized in? This is what I've been saying in my videos countless times, even me, even when I'm on live, sometimes I used to say that. Because many of our brothers in the prison. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I tell you, crazy. It's difficult for us to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. Our ambassador has gone out there. Okay. To suffer. In terms of when you are doing something that is not fair, the government, the law. Okay. This is the point. So don't be greedy. You come to Europe. Walk. Don't watch it. So, before you come to Europe, you have to better inform yourself. What I mean education-wise. What I mean handwork-wise. What are you specializing? Because Europe is not bed of roses. Yes. Europe is not where you just go, not the way you see in the television. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is why I'm doing this no, thing, no. but still most of you don't understand no, 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 no. me. Europe is I'm trying to make you get the reality. It's difficult. I don't, and I don't know how I can be able to express yourself, uh, uh, express myself, to let you guys know that it is not what you guys think. 
So it is not law. It, there is law, and the way yeah, Nigeria yeah, is is the same thing here. In Nigeria, if you don't <laughs> uh, develop yourself okay, yeah. to be able to get uh, a, a handwork, or if you don't study, or you don't know someone that can be able to help you to be able to get a job or a, a good position in life, you cannot survive. You cannot live very well. It's the same thing here. It's the same thing here in Europe. The only advantage they have here is like they're organized, okay. uh, there is less crime because of that. Because when the country is a little bit is okay and people can still find a job, people can still live, I think, with the minimum wage, there will be less crime in, this, in the country. If this country today, if they also that they cannot even live with the minimum wages, my brother, it will be even worse than where we come from. Yes. And most of us here, you will see, problem will be everywhere. So please. I have tried my possible best. That's why I'm bringing them for them to share with us. Because we are lost in people. You see, brothers, they are in prison because of they are lost. They don't know the rules. They don't know the rules. And they were influenced by some people, some, people, some, bad, some bad people. And which is normal in every country. Every country we have the good and bad in every country. They are influenced by these people and they go that way. And today we have brothers and sisters that are suffering. That is in prison. It's a 15 years. Our ambassadors have tried their possible best, and nothing, nothing. They, they still don't uh, listen to them. Yes, it's the law. It is the law of the land. Why? It's the same because if a Greek person did the same thing in Nigeria, that against the law of Nigeria, if our government really know what they are doing, they will not listen to Greece, even though they, they ask him to, to release the man because that is a law of the land of Nigeria. So it is like that, it is only until, it is by the grace of God, that God touched the people in charge of the case, the judges or, and the lawyers, to, okay, we, they have served a lot, maybe they have changed, they see that their behavior in, because they are observing them, but that if their behavior have really changed, okay, let us forgive them, because let them come out and have their freedom. But. It is difficult. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it, but this is it. So please, we should develop ourselves. Develop ourselves. Don't give excuse. You might come from the most poorest family. You might come from the village. I come from village. And all of us come from village. Nobody just come and become a, a very good in whatever thing in doing will be maybe an entrepreneur or uh, a big person in life. Don't give excuse. Whether you don't have money, whether your family is poor, whether you, no, try. With the little you are, with where you are, try to develop yourself. Look for means to develop yourself. If you really decide and focus to want to develop yourself, to go out of the crisis of any society, so that no matter crisis happen in any society, it will not affect you. You can be that person if you want. Am I right? Am I right? I the you can. There are people in Africa. There are people in Africa that is far richer and living very large in Nigeria than people here in Europe. What? What they say, when they say a poor country, when they say a poor country, it doesn't mean the whole of the country is poor. The country is not poor. It is because the people living in that country, the people that are poor, is more than the rich people in that country. That is why it's called a poor country. When they call a country a rich country, because that most of the people are more rich in the country than the poor, that is why it's called a rich country. So there are poor, there are rich people in Nigeria in Africa living largely that uh, very rich that in the richest countries in the world in, they are classified and uh, count as rich very rich in those rich countries with the asset and with their bank account they are even as rich as the richest people in the richest countries. So brother. What else can you share? I've said it all. You have said it all. So please, we don't want you to come and go into prison or die, get into problems. We don't want you to come here and go into problems. That is why I'm doing this video. I don't know how I can be able to share it, but I always try my possible best to, to be able to communicate as, as possible as I can.
Thank you very much for your time, brother. It is a great privilege having you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It will help a lot of young people. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Let's start from the questions. Yeah. Hello, guys. I'm right here with a great guy from Poland. We are the great of uh, a lot of knowledge and wisdom to share with us, and also Somalia. Adam. So Adam from Somalia is another great guy, and we have yeah, from France. From France. <laughs> Joshua <laughs> from France. From Suzanne. Where's my cool? <laughs> So he's, we have a French guy also in in the community. So these guys has a lot of knowledge to share, a lot of things. So this video is enlightening and it will open your eyes and it will give you a tips of how the life here in Greece looks like. So hello, brother. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you so much. Oh, great, great, great. So I want to know what can you share with us about life here in Greece? As a whole, from your own point of view, your own experience, what can you share? Uh, truly speaking, I'm here since 2020. So actually, uh, I could say that I've lived here for two years uh, and had an opportunity to travel. Uh, I travel a lot here on Attica, mm. on the land as well as uh, on the islands. Mm every island is so special and so interesting other way uh, because when we'd like to see for example beautiful beaches most of the islands have them mm. but uh, in terms of the most most beautiful uh, Crete is the most varied for example yeah. uh, there are beautiful landscapes on Zakynthos. Mm -hmm. uh, Santorini, from its point of view, because of the fact that it is a volcanic island. Volcanic. Okay. Yes, exactly. It has such a variety that, for example, you could go to the Black Beach, you can go to the Red Beach, mm -hmm. you can go to the Sandy Beach. So, uh, they are super specific, but uh, from my point of view, I would go there oh, off yeah. the season. Off day. season, like what time in the year? May. Oh, actually, you know, like a. Uh, <laughs> I think that to be like a, the, the flight starts at the beginning of the May. Begin the of earlier May. you okay. start, okay. the better it is. Okay. Because because it's, Greece is really seasonal and really touristic. So when you'd like to have a chill time not super high prices the best term april is like may april may and so after may ending. and after you know like a end of uh, september start end of october of uh the weather is maybe not so beautiful because rains are starting but mm. then there is so many opportunities to visit most of the island have uh, beautiful uh mountains Beautiful mountains. Yeah, most of the people actually they choose the beautiful beaches. They they go to the resorts, right? Yeah. But the mountains are amazing and they are wild. Ooh. They are wild. Uh, Cretan mountains. Mm -hmm. Not too many people go to the Cretan mountains, but they are so beautiful. Wow. They are amazing. They are amazing. I had an opportunity to even drive around because. Mm -hmm. There is a driveway on every mountain, wow. uh, but of course it demands a lot of skills, like a driving skills. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't tell that every driver would go to, to the peak of the mountain, uh, <laughs> but usually there are some roads. There. Uh, so, so actually it's quite interesting that you could get into the peak of the mountain by the car, mm -hmm. yeah. but of course it requires a lot of driving skills. Okay. Um, what about the cost of living? Uh, cost of prices of, uh, uh, um, for example, the cost of living here in Greece. Uh, surprisingly, actually, it's uh, when you are visiting off the season, uh, it's not so expensive. Okay. It's not so expensive. You know, like uh, when we would compare to the Central Europe, it's mm. way cheaper. Okay. Accommodation is cheaper, 
uh, people are willing to you know like a rent places for long term because in the season the prices are growing in you know, three times three times much of course some hotels they are closing after season mm -hmm. but at the end of the season there are so many occasions and the good prices mm -hmm. that it's really worth to visit it's really worth to travel renting a car is super cheap uh, like how much how much yeah. it could be even 50 euro 15 15 euros for right? a day for a day for a day right now we have like euro for a day exactly right now we have about 70 right so the differences are huge that's why it's really worth to visit and it's really worth to travel even you know like a traveling from the islands to the islands like island hopping at the end of the season or at the start of the season because people are calmer mm. uh, it's not so rushy mm. uh, and the prices are really really nice wow yeah so it, how much is the uh, the average salary who the average salary that's a good question because the minimum salary here is about 600 800 euros mm -hmm. so actually it's not so high mm -hmm. but uh as usually you know like a uh, sky is no limit so mm -hmm. the variety of uh, the wages especially in the cities is uh, quite high uh, on the islands everything is depends on the season it depends on the season exactly like in the cities how much we can get like a flat if someone wants to oh, get a flat athens for example you could rent a room for 150 euros that would be quite cheap but maybe not in the city center and the city center would be 200 250 uh, the maybe the bigger one more exclusive would be would be 300 right but even renting a flat is about 300 euros wow. per month so it's quite cheap it's quite cheap so he has given us so many things now let's go to a little bit inconvenient questions Oh. What? Yeah, ah. some inconvenient Interesting. questions. Interesting. What are your greatest challenges you can face here? Oh, the challenges. Mm. As a foreigner. Truly speaking, um, in some cases, English is, uh, is a challenge, mm. especially when we talk with the elder generation. Mm. The, the young people, they speak English, mm. they are learned, they are educated, they are eager to speak English. Mm. Uh, the elder generation, they are eager to speak Greek, but they are really willing to help and even ask questions or help regardless of the fact that they don't speak so good English. Yes. Um, there are, the, of course, some cultural differences. Yes. There are some cultural differences. So sometimes, for example, uh, when you are trying to negotiate Greeks, they are not so eager to negotiate. Okay. Um, but on the other side, they are really helpful. They are really happy and open for the other uh, uh, nations. Mm and and they know how to celebrate life they, they really know people. how to celebrate life yeah so you, you have been here about two years you've been enjoying this time here yeah so and what last advice you can give to a foreigner that maybe want to come to study here or maybe wants to come and work here or for holidays wow what that, kind of challenges you can face that's a very good question uh what to from, pay attention to? you know like from my point of view i don't know the uh the employee market mm -hmm. i know that uh that greece is quite open for the employees with a lot of languages as well mm -hmm. they have a centers of uh 
uh, service centers which are servicing uh, the big corporations uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the customer uh, support. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually I'm on delegation, I'm on a different kind of a different uh, uh, part of an, of an assignment. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how it looks like, like the studies looks like, okay, because okay. because you know, like I, I'm not sure how many English programs they have. Yeah. For example, it all depends. It all depends. Um, but one of the things they have, one of the best in the world, is food. So it's really it's worth to try food, uh, food here, uh, the salads, the meat. Uh, the seafood, mm -hmm. they are preparing it best way. They have a special culture of celebrating life at the table. Uh, so it's really worth it. The amount of the family-based restaurants, tavernas, mm -hmm. is so amazing that actually it's, you know, like, you could go and learn how they cook because the food is so good here. The Mediterranean kitchen is one of the best. Yeah, I think in this part of the world, uh, even Italians have very good, good food. Also. Oh yeah, of course, of course. That's right. I would equalize it. Okay. I would equalize it. It's quite okay. interesting. Wow. Did you have anything like discrimination as an IK foreigner? Uh, I didn't feel it by myself. Mm. Uh, Sometimes I have been treated actually as a tourist okay. because uh, uh, when you know, like I when I speak naturally English, not Greek, mm. uh, Greeks are considering me as a person which is not staying here for a long term, mm. but actually is a tourist, regardless of the fact we mm. have a season or not. Mm. Uh, so I felt like, at some point, I felt a little bit like a tourist because mm. of the fact that I that I spoke English. Mm. Uh, but generally, the life is easy. They are really open. Yeah. So actually, you know, like I celebrating life, nature, food here is one of the best you could uh, eat, you could have here. Age. That's right. That's so right. This is his own point of view. Uh, you know, yeah. it's from a European point of view. So that's right. It's part of this story. So thank you very much for sharing. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Here, I tried to to grab some time from me. Appreciate. It. Thank you. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as i take you to every country on head until then have a wonderful and inspiring day bye bye